Let's get right to KPIX 5's Jessica Flores, who is live in San Jose at a rally to recall Judge Aaron Persky. Jessica? Kenny, Michelle, it's certainly crunch time for the rallies for and against the recall effort against Judge Persky. As you can see behind me, a, a press conference is about to start here right now. The district attorney and public defender in the county are joining forces against the recall effort here. They say recalling the judge would undermine judicial independence. Now, the other side says Persky should be recalled because of his sentencing in the Stanford rape case. And just about an hour and a half ago, they held their own rally. Uh, women who have to uh, ask for permission. The rally from the recall judge Aaron Persky campaign turned heated with a man trying to silence the women speaking. You need to back up. Stanford professor Michelle Dauber is one of the women leading the recall effort. She says Judge Persky gave favorable and light sentencing in the rape case against former Stanford swimmer Brock Turner, who was found guilty of sexually assaulting an unconscious woman. We need to make sure that people vote. Um, we want to make sure turnout is high. Dauber today is also calling out attorney James McManus, who's helping lead the effort against the recall. McManus claimed in a recent magazine interview that the victim was not attacked. His comments have reached a new low with the comments of Jim McManus, and Judge Persky has been silent for a week and has failed to disavow or dissociate himself from those comments. Judge Persky can't comment specifically on the case, but here he is earlier this month saying recalling judges sets a dangerous precedent. Will the public wonder? Will judges have the guts to make the hard decisions? Now, we did uh, get an, just a statement from a McManus's uh, spokesperson just a little while ago. It says, as a firm with a long history of fighting for citizens' rights, we are proud to have led the legal fight against this recall effort and in the defense of judicial independence. Now, this is all up to the voters. This is on the June 5th ballot. A lot of voters already uh, cast their ballot, but they can also head to the polls on June 5th. Reporting live here in San Jose, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.